Okay, so today we start chapter 12 of Nikias, which is the last chapter of Nikias, which is called Bederech Knias and Nikias, the way to acquire Nikias. Okay, we'll see that in this chapter is also, he's going to briefly mention detractors of Nikias, because every okay, standard formula is, it tells you the Mida, gives you a chapter about the Mida, it tells you a chapter about the details of the Mida, it tells you, it gives you a chapter how to acquire the Mida, and then it tells you a chapter of things that prevent you from acquiring the Mida and then how to, you know, over overcome that. Mm -hmm. So that's a standard formula, four yeah. chapters per Mida. Over here, he changes the formula a bit because he he doesn't have a chapter on, for a chapter on things that didn't detract. Again, we'll see why. Um, let's just go back to the for a second. For a second. So let's just, before it should go on back, let's just ask ourselves, okay, so, we know what Nikias is, right? We know the details of Nikias. If we were to guess, what are the things that would help acquire Nikias? Right? What would you say? What would be what would be the things that help acquire Nikias? Nikias, remember we were saying that it's basically drilling down to the nitty gritty of the of the branches mm -hmm. of different right. mitzvahs, different midas, right? Mm -hmm. Drilling down. So what would you need? in order to be able to drill down to drill down i mean you need to know what you're looking for right 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 and if you try to get closer to your creator and he's giving you the ways to get he's giving you clear instructions on how to get there so you should explore these instructions right Right, so I mean, learning, so basically well, learning, learning. Right, if, you, if, if the, the end goal is get closer to perfection. Right, so the truth you? is, I mean, learning is going to be a way to get to every Mida, that's first of all. I mean, that's, um, that's, um, that's going to be a way to get, like, if you'll see, on. again, we'll see, let's, we're going to focus. So let's just go again, let's review first of all, till now we had two Midas, right? We had Mida of Zahirus, and we had Mida of Zerizus, okay? What was... How do you acquire the Mida of Zahirus? So again, I'm going, to, so I'm going to flip back to chapter 4. Chapter 4. And he tells you... So he tells you again. Generally, how do you get the Zahiris? Because it says, However, it says, However, it says, But more specifically, what, it, what, what specifically brings him? Who his boinus, contemplation, al choymer ha'avoido asher chiyavbo. Right and the stringency on the, the 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 intensity of the obligation which the person that the person is obligated in the and the judgment, the depth of the judgment. Right, so the intensity of obligation and the depth of the judgment. Okay, and then he tells us. Mm -hmm. And first of all, wait before that. But then he says, and how do you get the? Where do you get this contemplation? Where do you get this contemplation that deals with the depth of the judgment mm -hmm. and the intensity yes, of the obligation? The depth of the judgment, the intensity. He says, he tells you, you get that when you iyun from iyun, right? But iyun analysis, they mm. translate iyun, right? When you study, again, mm. right now, I'm not sure if 100% if that's what he means, but iyun bezmanaze means in depth, right? We have Bikirs and we have Iyun, right? So Iyun comes with Ayn, right? To, to look into something. So the Iyun, so when you contemplate, when you analyze Bimasi Maksuvim Besifri HaKodesh in the stories that are written in the holy books, right? In other words, Tanakh, Umin Halimud Bimamari HaChomim Zechron Rocha Bimamari Mazeh. And basically learning the Musr associated that stir up that that wake up this exp inspiration okay so when it comes to the heroes what gets you what gets you 
Again, it's not Torah in general, Torah, but, but Torah in general is in general. But specifically, what do you need for Zahirus? Detailed study. Um, it's not. The, it's it's detailed study of very specific things. What specific things? Mm. Of stories of Tanakh right. yeah. that will inspire you. So again, I'm I'm already putting in words. Mm. The key for Zahirus is not so much knowledge of details, mm -hmm. but as much as is getting inspired. To be to be a zohir to start analyzing your actions, right? It's inspiration. Mm -hmm. It's inspiration, not so much information as mm -hmm. much as inspiration. Of course, you need inf information, right? That's the limud Torah. The club in general, you need information. But to really to just to get you, yourself on your way to zahirus, the first thing you need is inspiration. Okay. Um, but then he tells you. Every, there are three groups of people, and when it comes to this, his boyanus, this contemplation, mm -hmm. three groups of people will be inspired in different ways, right? We have the per perfectionists. Yeah. We had names for them already. Forgot. Yeah, the no. perfectionists, the yeah. somethingists. Practitioners. What? Practitioners. No. Some no. something along those lines. I'm gonna forget, but but okay, we'll, we'll get we'll, mm -hmm. we'll, so the perfectionists. He says they understand that only perfection. Is worthy of pursuit. Okay, only perfection is worthy of pursuit. Only perfection is worthy of pursuit. Okay, and um, anything that detracts from perfection is is is, is a big right? right? Because even a small step away from perfection is really, you know, not perfection. It's it's. You know, it's infinity. It's infinity away from perfection. Then he tells us that, remember that this mida is really the the seeds of the end of the journey, which is yiras chet. Okay, he plants yeah. that seed mm -hmm. for us over here, and then he says, throws in very interesting. So this is again, I have this on page seventy, uh, but he throws in val ze omru zechronim levracha. Regarding this, our sages yeah. said, Alderach Moshe, Malame, that this teaches us, that every person gets, uh, what's the word, gets burnt, gets um, burnt by singed, his, by, better word, singed, uh, from, from the chupa of his friend. Right? In other words, I, I'm, when I get to Elam Habo and I see my, my neighbor and he's up there, in in Elam Haba, and I'm down here, I get singed by that embarrassment that he's all the way up there and I'm all the way down here. Now he right, meaning so he, right. So that shows me that I'm going to feel really bad about not having attained that perfection. Again, he's talking to perfectionists, right? So perfectionists are looking at that guy and he says, "Wow, he's all the way over here and I'm down here," and I feel. I feel a sense of shame that I didn't get there. Now he, now he, interesting again. He uh, uh, qualifies his ki ain't kina. However, that's not because of kina, right? That's mm -hmm. not because of envy. Asher tipul rak bechasre hadas, because that only happens to those that lack das, right? Again, yeah. See that in a second. Mm -hmm. As I shall write later on. We're gonna, we're gonna, mm -hmm, right. Now we're going to connect the dots in a second. Mm -hmm. No, it's that when I see him up there, I'm not jealous of him. I'm jealous, I'm, I'm ashamed of okay. myself that I wasn't, right? If I'd be jealous of him, mm -hmm. that's chesar and das. Like, what are you being jealous of him for? He, he's the, you know, mm -hmm. meaning, in, again, we'll see in a second. With the difference between the oilom haba kina, Versus the Olam Hazeh Kino, right? So, uh, <clears throat> so that's so a Kino only comes to for Chseira Das. Elam Epnei Ru Oisoy Atzmai Chosser Mina Shleimus. But if I see that I am lacking perfection, my Drake Shoy Yochola Siga. It's something that was up to me. It was up to me. I was able to acquire this Madrega. Mm -hmm. Yo, right? So Kamosh Esiga Chaver, just like he was able to achieve it. So if he's able to achieve it, then I was able. to... Meaning, again, I was just quality. Meaning, not that 
he had the same challenge. You know, he had different challenges and I had different challenges, right? But the point, the reason why he's higher is because he overcame his challenges. And I know that just like he overcame his challenges, I know that I could have overcome my challenges. So why didn't I? And I feel, I feel stupid for not having overcome mm -hmm. those challenges. So it's not because of him. It's just because of he tells, he, he, because in Elam Haba, in the end, we all get what our effort could have produced, right? Mm -hmm. It boils mm -hmm. down to at the end, like we were talking again the other time, but mm -hmm. it all boils down to what, you know, what our potential was and what we could have achieved. So, meaning, Elam Haba is the great the equalizer, so mm -hmm. to speak. If, if you're not at the, at the top, it's only because of you and nobody else. It's only because of you and nobody else. Top, your top. Well, everybody's top. Because if you're at your top, then you would be also with everybody's top. Oh, right. Because okay, if right, everybody's right, in the right, top, right. so then we're all in the top. Right. So there, do be, there should be no levels in Elam Haba, mm -hmm. technically, because everybody should be at the top. Right, it's like a waterfall. Right. We should be all equal, because we all per, per, mm -hmm. achieved our potential. Right. Um... Okay, well, there's a problem there, but okay, let's move on. Okay, so so hold the so let's hold this page. Don't leave this just yet. Don't leave this just yet. Let's go back to Kina just in our uh, in the chapter that we were just looking at. Yeah. Your base or a period? Uh, uh, eleven, eleven. Hmm. So it's towards right towards the end, right? It's right. Um, It starts with the word Hakina Gamhi Eina Lechisor Nidia Besichlus. It's right after Kas. If you find Kas, mm -hmm. or if you find COVID, it's before COVID and after Kas. After Kas. You probably went too far. Hakina. Oh, you haven't? Gam hi oh, eina yeah, eila. Yeah, Hakina gam hi eina lechisor nidia vesichlus. So, right, so he tells us that kina also, meaning just like anger that we discussed now, right, is also eina lechisor nidia vesichlus. It's nothing but lack of knowledge and sichlus and foolishness, right? Right, so this is again those words that he just we just read over there in, in this chapter four. Right, so kina is only for chasrei ada. So he, this is that same language, right? Then he says, then he says, why is it ches from chesor and adas? What's the lack of knowledge? What's the foolishness? Ki ein hamekane merviach klum leatzmoi, because somebody who's envious, he does not get anything for himself. Vegam loy mafsid lefishu hu miskane boy, and he also doesn't, you know, cause the other guy to lose anything. So the only person that he causes to lose is himself. etc., etc. And then he says that different some people are really have a real problem with kina. Mm -hmm. that they can't, you know, fathom anybody having anything that they don't have, and mm -hmm. other people are less, etc., etc. But then he says, mm -hmm. If they only knew and they only understood. Okay. So again, <clears throat> so at least till now I read this as poetically, right? But it's interesting. Uh, I, there's a novelty here that I'm seeing that, right? It says, Lu yodu velu yavinu. If they only knew and they only understood. Two things, right? Going back again, just before I continue that thought, going back, he says, Hakina gam he ena lechisoran yidia vesichlus. Right? Kina is lack of knowledge, chisoran yidia vesichlus. And sichlus is translated as foolishness, but it's more it's like it's like being dumb, being thick, being like being stup stupid. It's mm -hmm. not just uh, foolishness is too too sensitive a word for what sichlus is, right? Mm -hmm. So chesor and idea is the opposite of knowledge, right? Lack of knowledge is the opposite of knowledge. Sichlus is the opposite of havana. Mm -hmm, okay. Understand. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Right? And that's why he says over here, but Amram Lu Yodavinu, if they only knew and they un only understood, mm -hmm. 
right? So the problem with kina is twofold. It's lack of knowledge and it's lack of understanding. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, what do you? Yeah, do you really, why do you need? What? what, what I, what's the difference? Were, right. What's the difference between lack of knowledge and lack of understanding? Let's see. Ki ein adam legeya b'muchan lechaveira if you look him because a person cannot is not nege meaning is not uh, does not come across I guess it's a little translation is touch but it cannot does not uh, cross over for what is prepared for his friend even a hair breadth. Right, meaning you could mm-hmm. be jealous of his his Ferrari as much as you want, but, but the, was, it's yeah. his Ferrari and it's not your Ferrari, right. and, and there's nothing, nothing you can do, do to it. make this that Ferrari be your Ferrari, because God decreed it, right? right. So, so you achieve nothing by having the skin. Right. 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 And everything to everyone from God, who It's according to his. Wondrous counsel, the Chachmosa built in Leidas, and his wisdom, which is not known. Right? So then there'll be no reason for them to, uh, to, to be pained by somebody else's success. Okay? So, so when it, meaning, so what I'm saying is like this when it comes to Oilam Habzeh, when it comes to Oilam Hazeh, he's saying everything is from Hashem. So what do you being envious of the other guy's stuff. It's not in your control. Mm-hmm. It's not in your control. So being envious of something that's it's outside of your control, it's, it's pure stupidity. It's sikhlus. It's, it's, it's lack of knowledge and, and, mm-hmm. and understanding. Right? Mashegim, when it comes to Elam Habo, whereas Mashegim, it's everything is in your control. Right. Everything is, your control. Right. It's the everything is from you. So over there, Kina, so to speak, it's relevant. Meaning it's not Kina because of him. It's, it's more Kina of because of of, of, of right of you, what you you could have done it's it's mm-hmm. right it's it's feeling bad for you what you should have done could have done but mm-hmm. didn't do again at that point it's also futile perhaps perhaps it has a sense of chuba to it but there's no chuba in it right. so I don't know so I don't know it seems also futile but at least over there it it's, has more it's, meaning it's, it. it's meaning it's not meaningless it's not completely mm-hmm. meaningless it's it's uh, Okay, so that's that's that. Mm-hmm. Okay, we don't fully know what he means again by by hisaron idea v'sichlus, meaning what are the two aspects, right? Meaning the, the, meaning this idea, right? Meaning the internalization of this idea that when it comes to elam hazeh, nothing, everything is outside of your control and everything is doled out to each individual, right? Hakol kashel hakol, as he says, everything is from God. That's knowledge. What's the aspect of understanding that's necessary here? Once I know it, I know it. Meaning, he seems to, right? There's chesor and idea v'sichlus. It's two, two things. What? I'm not sure mm-hmm. yet what exactly the second layer adds to this knowledge that it's outside of my control. Um, Okay, I'm not sure. Fine. Um, I'm assuming, maybe, I mean, maybe I'm, my, my, my thinking is that first you need the idea, knowledge, that hey, everything is from God, but you may know it, mm-hmm. but it doesn't mean that it, it affects you personally, it doesn't, meaning it doesn't change your emotional state right so being a sochel being thick headed so your knowledge doesn't penetrate but if you are a a nova meaning somebody who contemplates Mm -hmm. then that knowledge of understanding that everything then then it makes a change right that's probably just probably gets that that's why maybe that's what it means maybe that's what he means so you need to know and then you need to understand meaning which means to internalize over here Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so it's internalization. Okay, fine. So coming back here. So that's that's your that's your perfectionist. That's your perfectionist. Yep. Then he continues, right? And he says, Ach me'ila. However, to those that are on a lower darga than that, mm-hmm. what's their ha'ora? Going to be will be also according to their level. Who 
lefi inyan hakovoid, right? Corresponding to the kovoid, to the honor, to the idea of honor, asher heim mesavim loy, which they so desire. Okay, so again, very mm-hmm. beautiful here. What do I mean by that beautiful? Is that, is that he tells us, again, okay, so flipping back, right, right. Flipping back now yeah. further from Kina, mm-hmm. let's go back to Kovit, not back, go forward to Kovit. Mm-hmm. So, see, so he says, right, this is Yisera Aleha Chemdas HaKovit. You, yeah, you have yeah, that? Got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Yisera Aleha Chemdas Ki kvar hoyo efsha sheyich bo yishodem es Yitzra la momoy. The Alshar Hanoi, the person perhaps can can overcome his yetzer about money, about other pleasures, right? Ach hakovid hu hadoifik, but the covid is the hardest. Ki efsher leilizbo etc. He can't he can't tolerate others, okay? And then he tells us all these stories about, right? All these people who couldn't tolerate, and then he goes back. He says klal shall dover. The general idea is. Kovid is something that presses upon the heart of a person more than any desire, right? Many, any, anything in the world, any desire in the world. Okay? So that's why it's the last thing. And the Nikias, when it basically, you know, you conquered Nikias, it seems like from this picture, when you conquered Kovid. That's when you conquered Nikias. If you can conquer Kovid, you're pretty you're good. You're pretty good. You're pretty good. But over here in Zahirus, for your regular average person, COVID is not even in the picture of of being conquered, so to speak. So n- just the opposite. It, it is something that you use to actually get you started on your path to, to, to Zahirus, right? Because he's telling you that these people who can't, they need, they desire COVID very much, which is the, who are these people? Well, it's your average Joe, right? right? Every, everybody, right? So because if because so, meaning on the level of the heroes, on the level of the heroes, to, to think you're going to conquer COVID is, is out of the picture. Mm-hmm. It's the opposite. You're going to use your COVID and say, you know how you want this thing, COVID? Imagine the COVID you, you need in Elam Haboy, you're not going to get, and whatever, you're going to, you know. So you use that COVID. I was saying, why could, but when it comes to perfectionist and it came to Kina, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Kina, he said, no, 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 no. That's only for, for idiots. Only for the foolish, the Kina. This is a different this thing. This is not real Kina, right? Kina cannot enter according into, as your tool, so to speak, to, to get you moving towards right. good, meaning it's not right. it's but not the level, type of thing it's, it's, it's mm-hmm. this is not the kina is not the thing that gets you mm-hmm. um, even though, okay actually I shouldn't have said that uh, we have this idea, kina soifrim tar that a, a jealousy amongst soifrim a right, competition, healthy competition mm-hmm. can can create so actually scratch that but the, but at least in the, in the, in the, for perfectionists kina is not a tool Right, but COVID is a much more of a kosher tool to drive them. To drive to drive uh, the heroes. Right? Even though it, it in itself is not kosher because you gotta get rid of it in the kiyas, but for now in the heroes it's still good because it's just it's too much of a it's too much. Right? And it's not it's the bottom line is it's not as much chisarain yidiya and sikhlus as as um, as kina, kina is makes no sense. It's stupid. It's kashashem shela kol. It's nothing to do with you. But in covered, I covered. What's the difference? It's hard to know what the difference is. But but covered is something that we desire. Again, it's like it goes back to that what we, our last week's discussion that it's it's not. It's a desire. It's a certain pleasure. It's a certain experience to be to be. The center of attention to be praised to be to be respected it's 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 a it's a need it's a much more of a need and uh than just i want his ferrari okay fine so that's that um fine
Okay, fine. And so again, okay, and, and the last, the last group, he just just to finish off. The last group is he tells you that's the scharbaim. That's the people who are going to be uh, impressed by punishments. You know, by by light, thunder, mm-hmm. lightning, and you give them all the stories of Yaakov and Avram mm-hmm. Avinu and all the great tzaddikim that were severely punished for little things. And so you, they learn. Regular people will be will be um, inspired. Inspired, no, inspired, right. but will, so be, we have, we have th- will be shaken up by the fact that um, you know this is serious business. So we have a theme of inspiration running across here. Right. It's a, right. Again. It's right. Exactly. It's all about wake up to the heroes. Wake mm-hmm. up to the heroes. And Zrizus is really the same thing. So let's just go there. Let's review. Mm-hmm. When it goes to Zrizus, let's move to chapter. Eight, chapter eight. Uh, chapter eight. He says, mm-hmm. has Jesus. The intermediaries which we, with which you acquire Jesus, heim, heim, mm-hmm. They are the, exactly the same as the ones with which you acquire the heroes. And their le- levels are the same as these levels. Mm-hmm. In other words, there will be also three groups. Because mm-hmm. they're close to one another. Okay, vein heifers bring name, and there's no difference between them. And this one is in the positive commands, and this one is in the negative commands. However, um, but what can it get you more inspired? It's contemplation upon all the goodness that God bestows you in every every moment and every hour. And great wonders that he does with him from the moment of his birth until the very last day. The more he analyzes and contemplates on these things, then he will have a greater sense of the, the obligation that he owes to Akadosh Baruch. Right? So when it comes to Zrizus, in addition to the the hisoyrus and the depth of judgment and the and the great chiyuv, right? In addition to that hisoyrus, you ha- you need you need hakara satoyv. Hakara satoyv will get you moving, right? Hakara satoyv will get you moving. Depth of judgment mm-hmm. will say, don't touch this, don't eat this, don't look at this, right? Hakara satoyv will say, come on, you can't get up in the morning. Okay, Hashem does so much for you, you can't even get up in the morning. So it gets you moving, right? Then simple, brilliant, fine. Okay, good. Right, um, in Dara Hashem, we spoke about a course at all, when he spoke about uh, Amidah, about the first, he used, uh, he used the first three brokers, 12, and then three to the last third, where a course at all, right. he was collecting everything and, you know, like putting it together. So, right. If, if there's, a, there's no course at all, it's just the entire. Shefer that was going down through all right, these right, right. brokers was just, just, just is not working. Right. So that was that was the glue that was kicking off the entire process. Mm, right. Okay. Uh, fine. So now we're ready to, I believe, we are now ready to see this chapter. Okay. Let's see chapter twelve. Now we have sufficient uh, preparation. So let's see. Hine, emtsoi ha amiti. Let's see if I can run through the whole thing very fast. So it's very short. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hinei The true emtsoi, the true intermediary. The true intermediary. Interesting. The true, the true intermediary. Liknos and Nikias. To acquire Nikias. Who has modas hakriya b'divrei chachamein zechon rocha. Is the constancy. Hasmoda means constancy. Right? It's a very popular mm-hmm. word in your yeah, circle. Yeah. A masmid or hasmoda, right? Mm-hmm. It comes from the word tamid, somebody mm-hmm. who does something constantly and con- or continuously, right? So, what is the true intermediary to acquire Nikias who has smoda sakriya It is the constant constancy of kriya of reading the words of our sages of Chaim Lebrach. whether with matters of halacha. The Im Benyonehem Musar, and whether in matters of Musar. 
Okay, so the obvious question is, if you were to ask me, if you were to ask me, which, what is the, okay, we, we understood that you need to learn in order to acquire an Akiyas. But if you were to ask me, what do you need? Do you need depth or breadth? Do you need depth or breadth? So the Akiyas is drilling down to the very bottom of it, so probably depth, right? Says Ramchal, sorry. I mean, maybe, I don't know, we'll Both? see. If right. He says, Asmodas, he says, Hasmodas Hakriya. He mm-hmm. doesn't say, you know, Histaklus, Iyun, mm-hmm. right? It, like the words that he Being used, as we saw in, in Zahir of mm-hmm. Sanzrizus, right? It's all, he, he talks about Hasmodas Hakriya. Hasmodas Hakriya. Constancy of reading. Constancy of reading. Okay, but let's see if we, before we draw conclusions, let's see if, mm-hmm. uh, if uh, let's see through it. Gihine achar shikvar hisam says lahodam, because after a person already understood the true, the truth of choyvas hanikius, the obligation of nikius vatzoyrech boy and the need for it achar shikvar hisik as the heroes because he already acquired the heroes vehazrizus b'mashnis asik b'darke kinyosam because he was already involved in the ways of. A, of acquiring them, in other words, he got the inspiration, he got the contemplation, and he, as a result, he became very watchful and he became an analytical of his actions. And he also removed himself from their detractors. Again, let's remind ourselves for a second, what are their detractors? So over there he says three, three detractors specifically. One was too much involvement in the physical world. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other one was Litsonas, and the third one was bad company. Okay, so those were the three detractors of Zahiris. Again, um, again, what was it? Uh, uh, too much, too much involvement, right? Mm-hmm. Big, being busy. Mm-hmm. In other words, when you're busy with Oilam Hazer, you have no time to think about Oilam Habo or Zahiris. When you have uh, Litsonas, then therefore nothing really inspires you because you knock everything down. And number three is uh, is bad company. Because even if you already know the truth, people, will, other people who are not on the same level, will drag you down, right? So if you already removed those obstacles, right? You set aside your kave eating for contemplation, for learning, for Musa, right? You you um, you limited your involvement in the physical matters. You removed yourself from bad company, and you're not mm-hmm. let let right? Hine lo yishur lo ata. So so he's really when once you're a zaw here. Right, and you want to be a Noki, so what's what's preventing you? What's preventing you from becoming a Noki? Mm-hmm. Okay, what's preventing you from becoming a Noki? So I would say well, lots of things, but Lee's saying there's nothing really preventing you. If that's what you want to accomplish, the only thing preventing you knowledge of the digdukim of those little things mm-hmm. that you didn't realize were big things, so to speak. I shall be mitzvah, so which are in the mitzvah. Because they should be zohar b'kulam, so that because the nekiyas is just refined zahirus, mm-hmm. right? So in other yeah. words, you you need to know those refinements. Vel mm-hmm. and therefore, he needs zohar loy behechrach, therefore, obviously, must be, he needs yidiyas ha-halochis al-burium. He needs to know the knowledge of halochis al-burium in full clarity. Right? Mm-hmm. Knowledge of halacha is in full clarity. Why? Ladas, to know anfeha mitzvahs, the branches of the mitzvahs, ad heichen hei magim, how far do they go? Right? So it's about thinking it through and knowing all of the, 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 you know, the little branches of every single halacha. So you need to have a clear picture of halacha, so not just halacha here and halacha here, but all right, of the halachas yeah. and how they all fit together and, and their weights and balances. That's the only thing that's <laughs> preventing you from acquiring Nikias. Okay? Vagam lefi, and furthermore, vagam lefi shashikacha mitsuyo, since those little nuances uh, are often forgotten, but vorim hadakim ha'elan, these nuanced things, he needs to hasmodas kriya, so that's why he needs a constancy of kriya. Okay, basforim hamavorim, the 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 books that hamavorim that explain 
Eile had digdukim, these type of digdukim. Leman, Chadesh Vesich Loi Zichrosim, so he can constantly renews their remembrance. But Ozvade she is soire lekaimen. And certainly he will be then be misoire to to fulfill them if he constantly gets reminded mm-hmm. of these things. Then he's more likely to to keep them. His mind is in it continuously then. And right, right. So again, so it sounds like has has right has I understand. You need constant learning because the constant learning is going to keep you constantly Go. updated. But he also sounds like to me you need constant learning because listen, I cannot tell you. I want you to, listen. You want to be. I want you by by um, Rosh Hashanah. I'd like you to please acquire this Midah of Nikias. All you need by Rosh Hashanah time in order to acquire this Midah of Nikias is finish, do, do a Siyam and Shulchan Aruch 101 times, so you know it pretty clearly, and then you'll be good. Right? Like, well, I'm sorry, that's not my, I can't do it. Right? A Kaddush Baruch cannot ask you to do something, yeah. to do something that's not. Right? Lo Alecha, we say, Lo Alecha, Malacha, Ligmar. It's hmm. not up to you to, com- to complete the task. Right? But, it is up to you to use up all your available time and resources to accomplish the task. If during the, your time, of, you know, you did your hasmada, so to speak, as much you dedicated as much time as you could, and you conquered five percent, so as a result, you have five percent of nikias. So you're not a noki in a certain sense because you never reached that madrega. But okay, but you did as much nikias as was humanly possible for you, for Ramchal. Hasmoda for two months, maybe it's a hundred times uh, Shulchan Aruch, and he can accomplish Nikias totally. But, right? But mm-hmm. bottom line is, when it comes to Hasmoda, it 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 says I did as much as I, as, as 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 was physically possible, and that's it, and that's all you can possibly do. That's why Hasmoda I understand. Right. Kriya Hasmoda Sakriya mm-hmm. is less understood to me because again I thought contemplate. So I'm, I'm assuming I'm assuming in Ramchal's word, word world, mm-hmm. Kriya means basic understanding. Yeah. Meaning well, by him basic understanding means you know I I remember every halacha that I learned. Mm-hmm. I put them all together and I got. And I got clarity of, of all the halachas. That's that's fine. That's you know, yeah. By us at this point, I don't know if regular kriya will produce that 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 clarity that he speaks of. On one hand, on the other hand, you know, this there's this agile method of uh, you're probably familiar. familiar with this agile business, which is very interesting, because when when you're faced with a task that you're basically never going to finish, okay? Or if you try to finish the whole thing, by the time you finish it, it's already, you, it's already too late, you know, it's already obsolete or whatever, right. whatever the case may be. So you're, you're trying building, to, uh, so the point of, is you're trying to accomplish as much value as possible early on. So it could be, I'm just saying, so if you have, if you have a choice, maybe again, maybe, maybe this is, Maybe against what our yeshivas are doing right now. But if, if you ask Ramchal, if I have a choice, you know, uh, take a Hilchis Brachis and drill down and know everything there is to know and become an expert in Hilchis Brachis versus just keep going. Just keep going and learn the entire Shulchan Aruch as much as possible. Right? Mm-hmm. It could be that Ramchal will tell you he prefers, you're going to get more value. Mm-hmm. From quantity versus the quality, because you'll be exposed to so many halachas. Are you not going to know everything? Are you you're going to make mistakes? Are you whatever? But you're certainly going to make more mistakes if you're not familiar. If you're not it, familiar at all with 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 the with the concept, mm-hmm. that's that's what perhaps I'm uh, I'm getting out of, out of here. Am I 100 percent certain? I'm not sure. I mean, if you were asking me before this. I, what should I do? Drill down in, in, in Hilchas Brachis versus all of Shulchan Aruch. I'd say, what's the point of Shulchan Aruch? If you're just going to read through it, you're just going to get nothing. From you. Just know, know something at least well. That's what. Now I was seeing here. He, you know, he seems. It seems to me that he's leaning more towards the other approach. Okay, moving on. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Fine, so that's as far as halacha goes. Halacha goes. Vechein binyone ha midos. And by same thing when it comes to the idea of midos. Mokhrachas like kriyas vay mori ha musr. He also needs to learn a lot of uh, statements of musr. Lekad moinim, older ones. Or you halacha roinim, or later ones. Why does, he, why does he tell us that? Why don't you tell us? Learn musr. Yeah. What, what's this emphasis on earlier yeah, and earlier. later. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know, but possibly one of two things. Either he's telling you, again, he doesn't, I'm, a, no, I'm not sure. Uh, two things that I'm thinking. I mean, one thing is that he could be saying, listen, uh, listen, Acheronim are not as good. Their, their words may be not be as pure, and I'm referencing something that he will say later, but he, his words may be, their words are not as pure. But you know what? They're today. They're relevant. Read them. Right? And, um, or he's saying, okay, it's better, better, you know, if you could, if you connect with Akhronim, read the Akhronim. If you connect with Akhronim, come on. As long as you're reading something, mm-hmm. that's one approach. The other approach is no. Akhronim, you need Akhronim because Kadmonim may be more pure, but Akhronim are more relevant, meaning they, they know what's going on today. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, and your job is to fix yourself today, not to fix yourself if you're the Rambam's times. Okay, so, but he says either or. He doesn't say, uh-huh. meaning, why didn't he say, like or, uh, or, like or, or, you know, why didn't he say, and Akharayim? Right, it sounds like, or, whatever, anything is better than nothing. It's more like, sounds and more here, like, first we spoke about hundreds. Hundred one times, uh, learn every brook here. Uh, either one, just do something, right? Just... No, I mean, I he's just continuing. I'm assuming the continuing the thought of a small that you have to do a lot, it's quantity. I'm saying it's that's actually it's, it fits well. He's saying it's quantity, so therefore, when it comes to quantity, Kadmonim good, Akhrainim also good, okay? So it actually fits pretty okay. well with okay. that. Okay. With that notion. Okay, fine. Moving on. Now, okay, so I keep up. Yeah, keep up. I'm in rabbis. Because many times, if you look at Sheikh Bala, Odom, Be'atzma, Lewis, and the Medactic, many keem. Many times, even if a person decided very well, Kevea, that he's going to be Medactic, and the might be one of these. Uh, I don't know how to translate that. Meticulous ones. That's what they mean. Medaktikim hanikim. Medaktikim hanikim is a cool uh, phrase. Better than meticulous ones who attain the keys. Okay. So, Efshar loyeshi yesham beprotim. He still can, can, can falter in specifics. Vipneshi lo hegiye idiosir behem because he does not yet know them. Ki ein odem noilet chacham. A person is not born a, w- a wise person. Vi yefshar loyeshi dasakol. He can't know everything. Ach bekriya sadvorim. However, with reading of the things, Yisoyer, he will be stirred up. Bameshul ayoda, with regards to what he does not know, v'yizboinen, and he will contemplate bameshul hiskil mitchila, with regards to things that he didn't understand initially. V'afilu bameshul yimtza besvorim atzmom. Now he's telling you that even the, those things that he will not find in the books directly, right? Now that his mind is awoken to the, these things, he himself contemplates in various directions, and he discovers new ideas from the true source. From the true source. Okay? So in other words, he's saying, he is saying, I th- he's saying that, and they mentioned something similar to this, that, that, that each person has a, has a unique path. So you're not going to find your, every your scenario in, in your Shulchan Aruch or in your Musr books. In, at the end of the day, some, your, your personal scenarios and situations will be uniquely designed for you and going to be only decided by you. Mm-hmm. You're going to be the, the sole sort of be a rabbinic authority in that moment to decide which way to go. So, 
so but but by learning again constancy and widely right so constantly and widely you are more likely to be the your mind will be or is more likely to start contemplating further and branch out in different areas and as a result when you come to a situation that needs a new situation you are more likely to apply your information properly so in other words mm-hmm. from the from a true source right so what he, they, they bring up here on the bottom from Yechezkel Sarn I didn't see it inside meaning before I would love to see how he writes mm-hmm. but they claim that what Yechezkel Sarn is saying what is these two words from the true source what is he adding by this mm-hmm. so they're saying it, it means Siata Deshmai that's the truth okay so Siata that Deshmai sense. that that if you are you if you are learning mm-hmm. if you are learning right and you're trying to do Nikias, Hashem will give you Siat Dishmaya. To plug in to, to 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 at that moment when you're up to a situation that you don't know about, right? Because it's unique, it's not spoken about, mm-hmm. you will have Siat Dishmaya. And I think that it means Slightly, again, I have to see how he says. Not exactly Siat Shema. I think it means, meaning, if you're not, right, if your base, let's call it, you have a base. You're you're creating a base. What, you, what you're doing with the Sasmoda is you're creating a base. If you're creating a base, okay, that's pure, that's your Mekor HaEmes, then you are more likely to apply you know the, the learning properly meaning meaning the the, the key the, every every svar every logic is true every idea is true the problem that people have is is application how do you know how much of each idea to apply when one idea trumps mm-hmm. another the application is the most difficult thing right so you can never it's it's impossible so to speak to arm yourself so totally and so completely that you will be able to exactly know what to do in every situation, right? So what, so, I mean, yes, so you need Siyad Dushmai, no question about it. But what Mekor HaEmes tells you is that, is that if your foundation is built on pure Torah, so to speak, then you are more likely to be driven towards proper application. So it, it is kind of Siyad Dushmai, but it's, it's not exactly Siyad it's, it's, it's the point is the point of you constantly plugging yourself to in this into Mekor HaEmes, into into as opposed to meaning if you read um, lead, say I want to read the self help books yeah. that are you know very good books psychology books very good books excellent books that can inspire you to the right thinking but those may not bring you to the right application at the right time because you may not have meaning you may misapply things mm-hmm. because you mm-hmm. you'll take that idea and you extend it beyond its capacity and you will misapply it machine gain is saying if you have if you're coming off a bit a foundation of mikor ms then i guess then it has to say that your siyat shmaya will lead you but the siyat shmaya is not it's not the siyat shmaya it's that it's that it's that mikor ms that's 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 key, meaning the fact that you have, um, you know, a, a sound, pure, Torahic foundation. That's that's what. That, that's his. Uh, again, going back to Dar Hashem, that that was his general approach that to invoke the Shefa, you initiate the step. You have to move in the right direction. You have to make the three steps, and. Uh, Right, it but here it's a little different. Going, yeah, he's then, saying, then, then, then Siyat HaDishamaya comes. I mean, I mean, here, if you start off with the right foundation and you're moving in the right, right direction... Right, but over here it's a little different. Then, I'm saying, no, I'm saying, but it's a little different. He's saying, he's saying, even if you already started, you made the first steps and you made the right steps and you have pure intention, yeah. right? That's where Rabbi Cheskel Sarna, the way they bring it over here, would say, okay, so now you're going to have Siyat HaDishamaya because you have the right intention. Mm-hmm. You can have Siyad Dushmaya to help you yeah. finish off the mm-hmm. job. And I'm saying no. I'm saying no, that's not the Pshat. Okay. The Pshat is it's not a, it's not enough that you also ha- you have good intentions. You also are sitting in a vehicle which is 
your Mekor HaEmes, your true foundation of Torah, right, that's going to lead you to the right conclusion, right? So it's not just uh, that you uh, have, you, you have, you're very inspired and you're pure, you, you, you're pure, purified your intentions and you really want to do the right thing. So Hashem says, ah, oh, I'm, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. He's saying no. He's saying you're automatically. You, you in... need to focus your learning on as much chazal, so to speak, as possible, right? To so that you are sitting upon upon a foundation of pure mikor, what he calls mikor hamas. Because if you are sitting on a foundation that's called mikor hamas, then when you get to a situation that is new, that is very different, that hasn't you haven't learned about. But you are more likely to, to to properly act in that unusual situation because you're coming off a Makar Ha'emes foundation, a pure, true foundation. Mm-hmm. Kain, you could be very, again, like you said, you could be, you were reading a self-help book. Uh, what's, what's, who's the, our, our uh, big uh, guru on... Uh, on Fadamis. Uh, what? Fadamis. No, no, the uh, online, what's his name? The YouTube guy who is like the big guru for self-leadership. I don't know what's his name, Tom, not Tom, what's his name? Big guy. Whatever. People pay him thousands of dollars to be in his seminar. Sounds good. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, anyway, so so whatever. So you you, you went to his uh, shiurim, and he says great things. No question, he says wonderful things. Uh, but, but, and you... So you were inspired by him, and he says good things about your personality traits. And comes the situation, you you think back to your you know leadership seminar from whatever his name is. It's gonna bother me that I don't know what his name is. And but you in this, that situation, even though your intentions are good, intentions are good, and you want to do the right thing, right? You are less likely. What he's saying is to to actually do the right thing. Because you're not coming from a Mekor HaEmes, right? Or even if, let's say, you're learning a, a Sefer, he could say, again, he tells us, meaning, <coughs> that was to me like a Chidush, meaning, meaning if he tells you, Bill, listen, I have two, ch- should I learn Mesil Yisharim, so to speak, mm-hmm. right? Or should I learn Choy V'Salvavos? Ramchal will tell you, listen, go learn Choy V'Salvavos. It's Makar HaEmes. Mm-hmm. This is your moral. It's Chalavis. All this is a thousand years old, and it doesn't feel relevant. Yeah, but it's Makar HaEmes. It's more likely getting, to get you, to get you where you're gonna, where you need to go. Now he told us, listen, Kadmoi Nimora When it comes to Moser, maybe you know he's not gave us he gave us a pass, right? But certainly not. <laughs> sorry, I need that. This guy comes up, Simon Sinek, or whatever his name is. Not all the others brought on there, I never heard. Um, Tony Robbins, that's the guy I was thinking about. Um, anyways, okay, fine. Um, okay, fine, moving on, yes? Mm-hmm. Okay. So what are the now this is the detractors, right? He threw in this as opposed to having a separate chapter, he threw in this thing. Those things that detract from this Mida. He named Kol Masida as a hero. They're the same of Sidim as the heroes. The noise of Alehem and what's added to them is this Khsorin a Bikius Bi Dia Sidim. They Bikiyas, so he uses the word Bikiyas here, interesting, right? Mm-hmm. The lack of Bikiyas, right? Erudition, the lack of... Mm-hmm. I don't know how to 
of the translate the keys. Expertise, I mean, literal translation is expertise. Biboki means an expert, right? Uh, comprehensive knowledge, okay. But bikis means wide, width, width again, width, not necessarily depth. Bidiyas hadinim o yamasarim, knowledge of, of laws or musar, k'moyshu kasavti, like I written, meaning this is the reverse, the reverse of the coin. Akbar Amos HaKon Rocha, v'loy ha'ama ha'aretz, chasid, ama ha'aretz cannot be a chasid. Again, even though this, this, this is talking chasidus, which we didn't start yet, but he seems to be saying, the, the bottom line, the formula is the same. If you don't know it, if no, you don't know something, it. you can't accomplish it. Kimishula Yeda, right? Somebody who does not know, EF Sherloy La Asois, it's impossible for him to do. Bechainomro, and similarly, they said, Talmud Godo, learning is greater, Shemevila De Masa, because it brings to action. In other words, learning has two things, components of it. It has learning and it has action because it brings you to action. It's like almost you basically did, did the action because if you learn, you're almost like, you know, you're basically guaranteed to do. If you learn, you're basically guaranteed to do. Um, so, so the point is that lack of learning is going to be your main main mafsida, main 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 detractor. Lack of learning. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, fine. Okay.